Hey guys. Hey. hey. Um, I want to ask you about this. Uh, so on the album, that song features Tash Sultana, mm -hmm. a great singer in her own right. But I think about you guys have been playing music and writing together since you were in high school. Does bringing someone else in mess things up a little bit or, or change things a little bit? Puts in um, some spice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, change in a positive way, sure. Uh, but I also think like, I mean, we didn't we didn't do any collaborations in the beginning, you know, for the first album. Then for the second, we had one with Izzy Bizu. So, you know, it's also like after a while, you're just like you're you're self confident, like more you know more safe within the music that you're doing and like the whole process of writing songs. So it's also easier for you to you know to let other people in. Yeah, you're a little bit more so confident, just, right? And yeah, also, it's just like after a while, it's just it's it's also very exciting and refreshing, you know, to yeah. work with other people. It's yeah. just like inspiring. Know, yeah, it's inspiring. And can we can we talk about this? So you guys were in Mexico City yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we flew in here. And then yeah, yeah. you flew in here yesterday from, and then you were you, you were in where you live in, in in Germany before that. And so you guys, I mentioned this a bit in the, in, in the introduction, but you guys are starting to talk about these things that I'm seeing a lot of musicians talk about, um, which is the impact that simply being a touring band can have on the environment. Mm. When, when did you start having these sort of conversations? Um, a um, couple of weeks, a couple of months ago, I would say. I mean, you know, it became like I mean, we just became more and more aware of it during the past years, I would say. Also becoming uh, fathers, you know? Oh like, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, Thank you. I mean, I mean, it's, it's quite a while ago. It's now, quite right? a while ago. <laughs> but, your kids are 36 and 38. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, it became more and more a topic, you know, in, in the world also. And we just, you know, we, we also got inspired by all these young people out there, like Fridays for Future and all that stuff. And we, we were also like, feeling like, I mean, like, we want to do something as well, you know? We know that as a worldwide touring band, our footprint is quite really, really bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's also really hard to, you know, to do something about it, but we just, you know, we just wanted to start the process and um and what does that look like yeah. i heard you guys hired like a a, a, a sustainability <laughs> manager yeah. yeah yeah we have a new a new member in our in our team and um she's only you know doing that kind of stuff we have a we started a block called milky change milky uh, change milky change ah, pretty good milky change.com yeah. um because we we also want to you know we want to document it and we want to be transparent you know and it's not like it's not like that we wanted to say, you know, we are a green band now. Like we do like, you know, like organic cotton t-shirt merch, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we want to say like, we want to get more sustainable, but we are not right now. You know, the status mm -hmm. quo is like this and we want to, um, yeah, we want to be honest. So, and, yeah, so what, is, like, what does the sustainability the manager do? Well, she basically with us like gives us the status quo to like, first of all, face us the facts. Yeah. And then she just like with us like goes through like all possibilities that we can like on all the levels like what can we do and also like I mean that means also like working with other people yeah NGOs and you know she's so she's just basically helping us like building up on all that it's it's hard you know I don't I'm sure you guys saw the news about Coldplay mm -hmm. you know little band mm -hmm. but they they've <laughs> decided that they're they're gonna kind of hold off on touring for a little while until they can figure out how to do it environmentally sound it yeah. feels like it feels like this is a conversation that bands are starting to have right yeah totally. I, I mean, mean it's good it's it's good but it's also pretty I mean that's the thing you know Coldplay I mean they can also like they're huge so they also can say like they're at okay, a different point we're, of their we're not career. going on tour for a while you yeah know, it's not it doesn't hurt them <laughs> right they can stay in their houses made of gold <laughs> yeah for, <laughs> I'm only joking Coldplay but, please come on the show yeah anyway, go on sorry <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean yeah it's a difficult thing you know I mean yeah, we can we it's also like I mean yeah we could say like okay we won't go on tour anymore for you know a longer time but that for us that would mean probably like the story of the band is kind of you know right over <laughs> so it's also i mean yeah it's hard it's hard to to balance it yeah and I, i've seen bands even on a smaller scale do things like i know bands that tour you know clubs in canada but they'll they'll change their riders so that it's just you know tap water so they can just yeah, bring, you know totally. blah, blah. i mean it's such a small step but it's you know it's something right yeah i mean i, I think yeah we also like we like when we began this whole uh, discussion and you know uh, with our sustainability manager as well we were also like 
we have to focus on the small steps as well and make you know little progress because it's so it's a you know it's a mountain mm -hmm. hard to move you know yeah so. Yeah. Um, well, I appreciate you talking to me about it. You're going to do one more song, and you're going to do this, the 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 hit from years ago, the big, mm -hmm. the big uh, stolen dance song. Mm. I made a joke earlier when I when I played it for you that I made I checked around to see if you guys were still there because like, sometimes the bands don't want to hear <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that song because you, you had to play it at every show. <laughs> In Ten years then maybe. <laughs> but but it really did change your life. It really did. I mean, this is the you know the opener to all of that. Like we probably wouldn't sit here without that song. How did you like? How how do you feel about it now? You feel good about it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, he's he's a good boy. Yeah, he's, he's a good friend. I mean, we we know each other for a while now. Sometimes you know? we put in this is the in song, by clothes. the way. <laughs> yeah, it's a song. It's a song. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's. I mean, it's no, it's cool. I mean, it's still like like. Uh, I mean, playing it live here, like in a session, we also like we play it quite different, you know. Mm. Mm, that's and that. it's it's an it's actually there's a nice like when we came here on the airport, like the policeman on the you know entrance, mm -hmm. like he was like, "What are you doing here?" I was like, "Yeah, we're a band. We're doing some promo." And he was like, oh, "Okay, um, what's your what's your band name?" I was like, "Look, Chance." And then he's just like. He was looking down and he looks up and blinks at me like stolen dance. <laughs> uh, so this this describes pretty well what this song is, you know. It's an opener and different. Well, he yeah. head on over and 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 I'd love to hear it. Thanks thanks for coming in and talking to me. Thank guys. you. I really, really appreciate that. And if that border agent is listening to this, this is for you. <laughs>